Hello, business analytics superstars, and welcome to Chapter 20, Monte Carlo Simulation. In an uncertain world, predicting the future is a challenge. Uh, decisions made today affect outcomes tomorrow, uh, but those outcomes are filled with uncertainty. Monte Carlo Simulation offers a, a powerful technique to model that uncertainty by creating multiple future scenarios. So rather than relying on a single deterministic model with fixed inputs and outputs, Monte Carlo simulation allows us to introduce random variability into our models. By doing so, we can simulate many different future scenarios and assess how likely various outcomes are from the best to the worst. So this chapter explores how Monte Carlo simulation helps decision makers deal with risk and uncertainty whether it's predicting profit variability, uh, investment returns, or project timelines, this tool is invaluable for businesses seeking to make more informed decisions. So why Monte Carlo simulation? Well, we often make decisions under uncertainty, whether estimating future sales, planning investments, or managing projects. While we cannot predict the future with certainty, uh, Monte Carlo simulation allows us to simulate many potential outcomes, helping us understand the range of possibilities. Now, Monte Carlo simulation uh, helps uh, answer questions like, how likely is it that profits will fall below a certain level? Uh, what is the probability that a project will be completed on time? What are the chances that an investment will outperform the market? By generating thousands of possible future scenarios, we can then better understand the distribution of potential outcomes and then use this information to inform our decisions. Monte Carlo simulation relies on random sampling to generate different possible outcomes for a model. So here's how it works. First, you define the variables in your model, such as future sales, investment returns, or project completion times. These variables have inherent uncertainty. So rather than assigning them a single value, you define their probability distributions, such as normal, uniform, or exponential distributions, say. Next, you use pseudo-random numbers to generate different sets of values for these uncertain variables, effectively simulating multiple future scenarios. By running the simulation, thousands of times, say, you then create a distribution of outcomes, for example, profits, costs, or completion times across all future possible worlds. Finally, you then analyze the results by examining the mean, standard deviation, possibly percentiles of the simulated outcomes to assess both the expected value and the associated risks. For example, uh, in a project management scenario, Monte Carlo simulation could help determine, say, the probability that a project will finish on time by simulating many different possible uh, completion dates, uh, each influenced by uh, random factors like delays in resources or unexpected setbacks. Monte Carlo simulation is widely used in finance, operations, project management, and other business areas. For example, uh, in finance, we could simulate different possible returns for uh, an investment portfolio using historical data to estimate the distribution of returns. By running thousands of simulations, we can then evaluate the probability of achieving certain return targets and assess the associated risks. In operations, Monte Carlo simulation helps forecast project timelines by simulating random events such as delays or cost overruns. By assessing the likelihood of different outcomes, project managers can then plan for contingencies. In marketing, we could simulate future sales scenarios, incorporating uncertainty in demand, market conditions, and indeed even consumer behavior. This helps businesses to prepare for a range of outcomes and adjust their strategies accordingly. Now, in Excel, uh, this process can be uh, quite easily implemented using built-in functions such as RAND for generating random numbers, and then you can perform the simulations across many rows of a spreadsheet. Note that Monte Carlo simulation does not tell you what decision to make. Rather, it helps you uh, make informed decisions 
by generating a distribution of possible outcomes. You can then assess the risk and weigh, uh, weigh it against uh, potential rewards. Now, this is especially useful when working in uncertain environments where traditional models uh, might fail to capture the inherent variability. Now, clearly, different decision makers will interpret the results differently based on their own respective risk tolerances. Uh, risk averse individuals may be uncomfortable with high variability in the outcomes and may opt for more conservative strategies. However, uh, risk-loving individuals may be more comfortable with risk and may choose to pursue strategies with higher potential rewards, despite uh, possibly the higher chance of negative outcomes. So one of the key insights from Monte Carlo simulation uh, is really understanding how risk interacts with decision making. While one person may find a particular outcome too risky to pursue, uh, another may find it uh, acceptable depending on their individual uh, risk appetite and the stakes involved. In summary, uh, Monte Carlo simulation offers a valuable tool for navigating uncertainty uh, and risk uh, in business decision making. By simulating many possible future worlds, it really helps decision makers assess potential outcomes and make choices that align with their risk tolerance and objectives. So, superstars, are you ready? Well, in every possible world, yes, yes, you are.